Chat, love to see it. So talented. <laughs> Game number one here, hopping in, rocking and rolling, ready to go. Dreamland is the pick. But Jesse already on a pretty massive Texas here, 40% stacked up. And JFlex with a potential Gimp opportunity. Down smash, not going to knock him off. Doesn't quite get that Dreffen down smash that we're looking for. Finds the tech chase. Here we go. Oh, we're rocking down. Yeah, dash chasing One. around that shine. Huge. That counter shine hurts so bad. And the tech chase. Oh my gosh, hot. You know, Ace all chat looking real nice right now with JFlex. Ooh, oh, sweet spot. Ooh, early counter hit. Pulling that Uno reverse card. Yes, sir. Gonna claim that stock. Here we go. So fun as well. Grown working man and no stranger to Chic Fox having wins and tournament wins over people like bonfire and sets against dr lobster who are great chic players so definitely has to play this matchup a lot bonfire Ooh. being the president of other new hampshire i think uh I do, I do believe they are new hampshire players yep. if i remember off the top of oh, my well, head but all those little ones confuse me but <laughs> new hampshire vermont versus uh, like connecticut connecticut yeah. rhode island who's the best player in rhode island uh, me. Just, you? Yeah, I have no idea. You just gonna move? You're gonna move to Rhode Island, be number one? I definitely would not. Be, be, pull, pull a Zamu in Arkansas, just like move to Arkansas, be number one instead. Pull a Plup in Oregon, but, you know. Yeah. So, Jflex right now, looking like number one in this set. Jflex looking stage, like... Though. Scary oh. place, and like I said, oh instantly <laughs> reversed it, Jflex. Getting jumped red, so unfortunate Ooh. for all the JFlex fans right now, but this card definitely changing oh. the tone, and it could be a potential zero to death, but the reversal coming out now. One, two, three, oh, stay away to heaven. Led Zeppelin on in the background right now for Grown Working Man. That's five in a row. Oh my goodness. And another hit. These two putting 90% on consecutively without being touched, just squib squabbling back and forth. Yeah, and Jesse exactly looking like Jesse looking like a man on a mission, just carrying. A grown working man on a mission. <laughs> yeah. All right, finds it. Oh, F tilt fair, just gonna be squeaking it away. Like you're saying, that bonfire, that uh, Doc Lob Tech, so much experience against high level Sheik, not gonna be fooled by those um, lofty forward tilt fairs. Gonna have a little bit of DI way to deal with those early kill options. But Jesse with a drill shine follow up finds a solid amount of damage. Falling up air and chilling, we trust. But can we find one grab as we've seen it before? J Flex, touch of death in the palm of his hand and talent in the other, while his third hand is patting himself on the back, trying to find, find one it. more opening here. And yeah, find themselves on the their end respective of Dreamland. side of Dreamland. The moment. Oh. How is J Flex going to get down, Hada? This is a scary one. Hard. Oh, the needle's not quite oh. in the group, but. You did there a little bit. Yeah, hit, hit a it. stray needle on the floor, but Jesse will clean up game number one. Get a war machine grown, working man, putting in that work. Taking game number one over JFlex. All right, here we go. Where do you think you're going for game two? Uh, I'd say probably Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield fine. definitely seems like the JFlex pick. You know, you got that chic, you got that tri, got that tri-state. It's the no-brainer. Hop in here, game number two here on Battlefield. Jesse just relentless with this up tilt pursuit, just patrolling all the on the landing space of J Flex. All right, mixes up the shield drop timing, does get the hit, but confirmation goes the way of grown working man. No jump, unfortunate from Jesse. Probably uh, got it sniped out on that shield drop cross up attempt, and uh, J Flex is a pretty substantial lead. But knowing the absolute one shot potential of grown working man. As we're seeing it, one shine into a wave dash up smash will clean it up and send us to even stocks here. Just at under seven minutes. Okay, Jesse finding this. Both players trying to find their big opening at this low percent and kind of just both players are SDIing out of them. The drills from JFlex and the attempted down smash is not really knocking down, but eventually JFlex finding that grab. And now the Ooh. knockdowns are coming out, and this is where we're going to start seeing that explosive combo game we were seeing earlier. Those low percents are a little awkward at times, you know? It's like a high school dance. You don't really know where to start, but <laughs> once you get it going, you know, it. JFlex got him off stage with the patented little needle oh. turnarounds and the reverse fair going to do it. It's like a high school dance, like a Degrassi combo, finding himself with a stock <laughs> advantage here. JFlex definitely was the jock in high school, but... uh. Jesse looking like the protagonist might just be making a comeback here in the 11th hour. 
I know. Here we go. Two to two right now. Only seven percent. This game is basically even. Gets through the invincibility without getting tagged at all either. But a grab for J Flex is a big opening. Great DI on that down smash. If that had knocked down, I think Jesse would have taken a big percent. But awkward to oh follow up God. since it didn't. I yeah, love that anti chic drill. The drill in place, catching the dash, the uh, boost grab, and or the dash tag. But waiting out that double jump opportunity. J Flex with that reverse card, trying to find one more opening. Boost grab attempt here for the tech chase. Boom down smash one more time. And boom headshot with the reverse again. spin. Absolutely clinical when it comes to that execution. And off the stage again. We are here. Last stock situation, ladies and gentlemen. Just as the first, looking like the worst, trying to find who will be our recipient of the 2 0. Is Jesse going to send J Flex, put him, back him into the corner? Or are we just going to get a massive Uno reverse one more time? Backer for the fans. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sweet spot at the ledge. And suddenly, we have a chic victory on our hands. 1-1, one, one, Ace J Flex, Looking yeah, pretty on point go. right now. Yeah, that battlefield, definitely a comfortable stage for Sheik in general. So good thing that they cleaned it up there. It feels bad to go down 2-0 in any matchup, but Fox is a rough one. FD on the table. So we'll see if that's where Grown Warrior Command goes. Pokemon Stadium, another strong counter pick. But usually... FD is where we'd go, and with the experience they have, I would imagine they would keep it traditional, and they do. This stage, we already saw the sharking that Jesse was able to do when JFlex was trying to land the up airs five in a row at one point, but JFlex, you know, might just like the combo here as well. And Ooh. wow, great double. Oh, thought he had the gas, but Jesse, with a potential extended punisher, finds the grab, but. Cross up backer with some ambiguous DI. J Flex with an opportunity to take the lead going into this first stock of FD. But Jesse a little slow off the ledge. Reverse backer, check chase, dash tag. One more opportunity. Finds the needle. Needles to cover it one more time. Fair off ledge. That's going to clean it coast to coast with that cross up fair. You know, looking like the space ghost right now. Oh my goodness. That could have been bad, but the low, low percent. Jesse was at GWM, made him able to grab a ledge rather than having to up B, which is crucial. And they find the stock pretty early because of that, not letting themselves get too much of a deficit. Oh, we're trying to dash dance Ooh. around. These approaches from J Flex. But <laughs> that approach was not going to get through. Great angle. J Flex, though, with this edge guard attempt, should go down another back oh. air, and that's how you do it. J Flex. Just covering that vertical space off the ledge so effectively so far in the set. So practiced, so rehearsed. Getting these soft hits, sacking up 20 more percent. Look like we get a knockdown in the tech chase. Just waiting to happen. Ooh, oh. yep. Drill shine up smash. Gotta clean it up. 108, super early. But two stocks apiece. Not quite halftime. But J Flex with a substantial lead. Is that gonna be another stock? Yes, it is. Oh, that looks to have not quite the gallant you'd want on it. And grown working man taking it to town for it. Oh That's my what God. you need to do against the Sheik Needles. Players who are comfortable playing against Sheik know that you can just eat the needles and run off and immediately shine them. That's uh, the fix. Oh, my God. Monstrous oh, combo from goodness. Jesse. Oh, got the weight on stage, but didn't quite find the back air. A threat of a chance right now for J-Flex. Holding on to a prayer, but that's going to do it. Game two, these counter picks coming through for both players so far. The battlefield for J Flex, FD. It could come down to that game one. We'll see on this next set where J Flex yeah. is going this next game. Sorry. Yeah, GMW definitely um, on serve um, for lack of a better term. So, you know, winning that first game, setting up the precedent. You know, if this goes to the game five, um, Jesse will have the counter pick going into it, we'll have the advantage state. And it's up to uh, J Flex to win two straight right now. Yeah, we'll see. All right, two Donna Dreams is the pick. Much better than 2 -0. Oh, certainly. You definitely want to want to go, you know, three straight on FD. You've been brutal. This still, like, it feels even. You're like, oh, I lost on FD. Like, yeah, I'm supposed to lose on FD. Yeah. And you're like, that doesn't count. Oh. 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 Great recognition of the high FD. 
And knowing that Fountain of Dreams sometimes tricks you on the side, it makes you think Fox is farther away, in my opinion, than they are. So waiting on stage, knowing that Throne Working Man had plenty of room to make it back with that up B and waiting it out, punishing it appropriately. Yeah. So Fox. smart of um, Grown Working Man to wait out the second hit of that up smash before going for that shield drop counter hit back air. But whirling back to center here, J-Flex getting it scouted now. And that's the first stock kill. here wow. for the, GWM. I, I think, yeah, I think J-Flex probably tried to SDI it, but was SDIing up for the up air rather than to the side. And then when they didn't hit it, it just <laughs> killed them pretty early. Oh my god, massive up tilt follow through. Yeah, almost got back here as well, but J-Flex countering out of it and probably will find the stock there. Keeps this lead right now, but Crone Working Man is making this very scary. Tech Chase, up smash, and Great off throw. So off stage oh, throw, here we go. Dipping low. Stock. Great weight so far, 70%. Yeah, it feels good. And again, we got another one. This basically was a zero to death. Oh, oh beautiful movement from G-Flex. Needle turn around to the top platform to set up that forward air. Absolutely beautiful ending to a great, great gameplay combo. So G-Flex looking really good right now. Three yeah. to one stocks. Again, these counter picks seem to be making a huge difference at the moment. Yeah, and G-Flex... Definitely fancies himself a technical player. It's how you know when he's going for those uh, more difficult extensions, make sure you're getting those proper hitboxes. He's feeling himself, feeling confident. He knows he's going to get those execution tests correctly. And with a stock advantage here on FOD, looks like we might be setting, our, setting ourselves up for a game five situation. Yeah, specifically needle turnaround as well, I think is something J-Flex loves to do when he's feeling himself a bit. See it off stage, he'll need to turn around over and over, and that's going to put the last nail in the coffin for this game. J-Flex cleaning up the last stock very cleanly so game at five is where we are headed but it is gwm's counter pick probably going to be going to pokemon stadium so we'll see if how big of a deal these counter picks plays and maybe it came down to that game one all in the end yeah yeah it's definitely going to be a more difficult uh a more difficult sell for j flex of course you do have those side platforms or extensions like with the tech chases and following through for some launchers like um a platform tech chase downer j flex so confident in those um weak hit extensions but um have to see what this extra horizontal space is, as well as this lower ceiling is going to do to uh, maximize uh gwm's game plan oh and here we go Max oh my Ooh. gosh i think they probably want to run off fair not dash attack that's a common mistake if you try and do the runoff fair from too far away too fast to cover something like that uh, B, you'll get dash attack and J Flex paying the price for it as well. Ooh, okay. Finds the oh, grab. Here we go. Grab. Tech chase opportunity. Has to clean up this stock here to stay on surf here. Needle snipe one more time. Here we go. Back, Back air. No. Oh, double forward air. That's a sick setup that happens more consistently than you'd think. You get that first forward air and they tech it. It's set up perfectly for a runoff fair love to see that that's uh you have to go for a little bit of swag but then you're rewarded with optimal swag that's oh, uh, okay and the needle snipe not looking good if you're a gwm fan j flex turn on the jets here yeah definitely playing very well right now funny and grab dash dancing around the shine oh, we've seen it and we'll see when it stops j flex on the fifth grab now and 50 percent for it If they can get down, but oh, the this is ridiculous, and that's going to do a J Flex up three one right now. Unfortunate ending for the head GWM stock, though. But two to one, great, great grab. J Flex not playing around right now. The immediate shield drop fair re grab was just beautiful. Catching GWM off guard wasn't a knockdown, wasn't a tech chase situation. Just was J Flex oh purely my God. faster than GWN at that moment. But at the same time, sometimes faster doesn't beat smarter. J, J Flex getting their uh, drift scouted out off stage there in a shine just evens it up immediately. GWM opening their own door right now. When one closes, another opens. So oh, love that tech coverage on that inside corner. Needle snipes and off stage. Okay, GWM super ambiguous off the ledge, but we'll get snuffed out at the ledge. JFX will clean.